So um, right before we're going to play the Hades 2 tech demo, I do want to read this article right over here. Given the fact that I'm going to be playing Hades 2 and Stellar Blade is going to be coming out on Friday. Let's go ahead and talk about this really quick. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. There you go. My, my, my bad. My bad. All right. So right over here, it says Hades 2. This is from the gamer. Hades 2 proves that characters can be both diverse and hot. Stellar Blade who? Now, here's the thing. Beauty is subjective and is in the eye of the beholder. However, I think that uh, Eve from Stellar Blade is way more attractive than the, the drawn characters from Hades. Now, here, given the fact that Hades 2 is based off of Greek mythology, a lot of them can be good looking. But uh, let's, con let's actually read this. This is from four days ago. I see right over here. As much as I hate to admit it, I think a lot about Eve from Stellar Blade. Not because she's hot, but due to the almost surreal fact that her shapely behind and jiggle physics have somehow caused what feels like a cultural wide meltdown. Oh man. Her being in a slim, thick Asian baddie. Sorry, her being a slim, thick Asian baddie has somehow galvanized a vocal contingent of gamers who are adamant that modern games are forced to be completely sexless because the woke mob hates hot girls, which is not wrong. Which is not wrong. What's going on, Psychotic Mongoose? How's it going, man? Uh, woman characters who look more akin to the real life people are often derided as ugly and the relatively common practice of DEI consultation is pegged as the cause because liberals and leftists think that games should uphold their principles. The argument goes they hate characters that are both women and hot. Here's the thing. Uh, women denigrate other women the most. That's the freaking fact, okay? Uh, DEI and hot characters can't exist side by side and logic goes as one ruins the other. I've been turning this over in my head for the last day while scrolling through my Twitter feed in which absolutely everybody I follow is thirsting loudly over Hades 2's characters. Now, there's only probably one character that people are going to bring up and that's probably Aphrodite. I'm pretty damn sure. Right, the goddess of uh, lust and love and dick sucking. People are barking, slobbering, and saying that they want these characters to step on them. Adults with very real and serious jobs are acting f feral online for a bunch of illustrated Greek gods, uh, which is one of them is uh, Alyssa Mercanti, right, from Kotaku. God, that lady is insufferable, uh, which is understandable. Uh, and because they are all very hot, these same people did not act like this about Stellar Blades Eve. That aforementioned group of angry gamers will frame this as hypocrisy by offer an alternative way to look at it. Who decides what is hot? General consensus. General consensus. The majority of the population find that, that find that it's hot. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to scroll down. So this is Nemesis. So this is Dommy Mommy. Um, so uh, here's the thing. The characters... People are going to bring up um, Boulder Gate, uh, Boulder's Gate 3. And here's the thing. All of the characters in Boulder's Gate 3 are extremely hot. Besides a few. Besides, I'm talking about the main characters, right? Um, and the things that you can turn them, uh, what's it called again? Their, their, their underwears off, which is the best part. Aphrodite should be hot as it makes sense for the character. Yes, that is true, right? Nemesis is good looking. Hephaestus on a wheelchair is fucking hilarious. Imagine being a god a forge and then you are handicapped that's fucking hilarious and it's fucking stupid now this is where dei comes in right putting hephaestus in a freaking wheelchair which i will not use any of hephaestus's powers because his powers are probably shit right it's gonna probably put me on fucking wheels and shit like that they're fucking give me a fucking uh gimp leg and shit nah 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 that ain't it chief that ain't it chief i forgot who it was that gives you the actual um the actual uh, double a uh, double dasher. That's the god that we need. Next one is uh, it's a he Hecate Light, and uh, this is probably some androgynous penis. And uh, me is it M Melanie? This is uh, I believe this is Hades' daughter, and I believe this is Demeter, and this is um the the mom. Yeah, they definitely changed her look for sure. 
but yeah, it, it's Aphrodite is the one that everyone's going to be talking about, right? Here it is. Uh, let's see, uh, the thing about Eve is that she's very conventionally attractive. If you subscribe to society's belief of what makes a person hot, uh, Issy Van Der Veld, formerly the gamer, wrote an excellent piece for Inverse about how Eve caters heavily to the male gaze. Fuck this person is because that is true though. Not just the male gaze. There's a lot of females that I saw online. They're actually playing Stellar Eve and the demo. And once Eve gets popped out of the, the her pod, she goes, uh, I, and she just goes, Ooh, and becomes, um, becomes green and shit like that. Those girls are like, damn, she's good looking. Now here's the thing it's not just catered to the male gaze. She is conventionally hot universally, right? If you think that she's unattractive, that's a you problem. And that, that, that means you're probably gay and or, or insecure by yourself. I see. It poses a question that, yes, Eve is attractive, but to who? Uh, when the game's director, Kin uh, Hyung Tae, uh, said that the studio wanted to become up, uh, come up with the most attractive looking body for the user, who is that presumed uh, user? Um, talking about uh, everyone in the world. Everyone in the world. What's going on, Nagar? No, how's it going, man? Everyone in the world thinks she's attractive. Now, the face... Right, the face was designed in-house. The body was digitally scanned and and, and you know scanned by um, Shin Jae Yoon. So we'll see. However, uh, you feel about Eve's design, the fact that is not everybody finds the same body type attractive. Yeah, there are chubby chasers. There are there, there are fat fat lovers, right? Fat fanatics and stuff like that. No, no, everyone's everyone deserves love. Okay, and here's the thing though. Overall, people don't like fat people. I'm talking about like they, they, they don't love them as as like you know pursuing some kind of like freaking uh, I'm gonna have sex with a you know billion boobs because I don't know which one's which one's your boob and which one's your ass because they all feel the same right uh, let's see uh, the fact that everyone not everyone finds the same body type attractive not everybody is a butt guy or a boob guy or even attracted to women for that matter and here's what Hades tomb comes now here's the thing Hades is very um. Is it's is in terms of the casting, it's I think it's fine, but um there are diverse characters, right? Um what's it called again? Who's who's a, who who's a piece of shit guy that has a big scythe that looks like trunks? He's basically you can actually romance him as Zagreus, which is crazy. A lot of the Greek gods are actually like, oh, let's bang each other's sisters and shit like that. It's fucking weird. But let's continue. Uh now here's the thing. If you find Demeter hot, it's okay to like cougars, okay? She looks like she's probably in her 60s. Uh, you know, uh, you, you probably have issues, but it's okay. It's okay to like older women. I'm not saying you can't, right? But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. If you like men, then you're gay, right? If you like a trans woman, you're 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 gay, too. So Hades is known for being a very gay game, which it is, like I, which we covered. Anybody who disputes this choosing to turn a blind eye in the game's narrative, which is huge reason why it's beloved in the first place. No, it's not. The reason why the game is beloved in the first place is because it's fucking good. All right? The character designs are great. Don't get me wrong. They look they look badass. But the reason why people loved Hades and hate I'm talking about Hades 1 is because the game is good. The re the replayability is awesome. I spent about 46 hours in the game in the first one. The game is good. The replayability is good. The custom ability is good. The secret items at the end of the game are really good. The the fact that you can play the you have to play the game like and beat the game 10 times in order for you to get the true ending is freaking awesome. The reason why people love the game isn't because the game is fucking gay. Okay, Zagreus can hook up with uh, Dusa, yeah, Thanatos, yeah, and Megara. Uh, Dusa is basically a floating head. Uh, Megara is Meg, you know, uh, what's it called again? Um, Hercules Meg, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But Thanatos is the, is, is the gay boy. Uh, you can have a have a menage a trois with the latter two if you play your cards right. Achilles and uh, Patroclus are canonically queer. Uh, I would I, yeah I would say they're probably bi. In the, and, and chaos is explicitly non-binary. All these characters are gay and they are also super hot. But here's the thing, though. Um, these characters are hand-drawn versus E from Stellar Blade is 3D. That's more. And the thing is that she's based off. Is there stylization for Eve? Absolutely. But the thing is that there's also, she also is based off of an actual person's body. 
So the reason why her ass is that big and nice is because the model's ass is that big and nice. So yeah. So um, I'm not gonna finish this. It's because um, I'm, I'm I'm getting gayer and gayer while reading it. But um, overall, that's basically the issue. And the thing is, um, Alyssa Mercante from Kotaku, who's a, who's who's a piece of shit, basically said, the Aphrodite tits and the scissoring, and I'm gonna trip her so hard. We're gonna squirt all over each other's body. And then Eve Stellar Blade, ew, yucky, yucky, no way, no thank you, no 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 that 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 dude. That's basically Alyssa Mercanti. And that's exactly how she sounds like. But yeah, so basically, Jose Taco, in short, that's basically it. That's basically it. Yeah, women love seeing attractive women. Exactly, a lot of women do. Here's the thing. My wife typically points out a hot woman before I get to see the hot woman. She's like, oh, she's hot. I'm like, who? Who? Where? Where did I see this? It's because I don't really check out girls as much as I used to now that I'm a dad and I'm married. Yep, gameplay is king. Yo, what's going on, Brian? How's it going, man? Shadow Phil, hope you're having a good night. Yeah, man, having good, dude. Doing good, man. Doing good. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> Let's see how woke Hades 2 is. You see how woke it is. All right. It is. It better not be like, oh, dude, you know, like, uh, freaking, I, I stuff ketchup packages in my fucking the uterus so I can simulate that I can, you know, have a freaking that dude. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see any of that shit. All right. I don't want to say, oh, I'm fucking the, 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 the non-binary. I don't want to fucking hear any of it. Okay? I don't want to fucking hear any of it. Just have the characters. All right? Is it a Sweet Baby Ink game? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's check it right now. Let's check that shit right now. Uh, Sweet Baby Ink. Let's te- check that shit right now. Sweet Baby Ink. Let's see. Verifying, yes, I am a human, you fucking pieces of shit. As of, I don't see it on the list. And I don't see super giant on the list. Right? I'm looking at it right now. I don't see I don't see it on the their clients list. Of course, they fucking dumbed it down because they don't want to show their um their projects. Right? Um so our clients, so I don't I do not see super giant. Right? I do not see super giant on the game. Now now, here's the thing, though. When I launch the game, if I see anything that that pops out, I'll, I'll call it out. And the thing is, that, let's, is it on uh, Sweet Baby Detected, though? Uh, sweet. Okay, let's go. D-E-I Detected. I believe Cabrutus launched this website not long ago. Shout out to Cabrutus. So as of right now, I do not see anything. All right, Hades 2 versus Stellar Blade, but why? There it is. He, he talked about it right over there. Let's see. Uh, DEI, DEI Free Games, content creators. Content creator. Hey, let me hide that. Hide that. Okay, so so we do not see Hades in here yet. And, uh, unfortunately, Auden Chronicle is in there, which is sort of sad. Uh, I, know, I know Gray's been um, waiting to play that game for a while. Yeah, Za, Zaul. Za, te, the tal is like a kinzera, Zaul. That's very, that's very jungle sounding. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't see any. I don't see Hades in here as of right now, which is good. I don't want to see it. 